cybersecurity in the industrial environment. Introduction to computer security. The objective of this training unit is to know and distinguish the main concepts related to computer security in general. Distinguishing between the IT and OT areas of a factory and their specific needs. Identifying networks and devices. All devices connected to an Ethernet network must be uniquely identified. For this identification, the MAC address is essential. Identification is completed with an IP address, either IPv4 or IPv6, and a subnet mask. An IP, Internet Protocol address is a unique number that identifies a device connected to a network, whether it is a local area network, LAN, or the global internet. It is similar to a postal address in that it allows data packets to be sent and received correctly by the correct device on the network. There are two main versions of IP addresses, IPv4 and IPv6. IPv4 uses a 32-bit address format and is the most commonly used. However, because available IPv4 addresses are running out, IPv6 has been developed and uses a 128-bit address format. IPv6 addresses allow for a much larger number of devices on the network. IPv4 is the fourth version of the Internet Protocol and is the most widely used network protocol in the world. It is the set of rules that govern how devices communicate over the Internet. IPv4 uses 32-bit addresses and is capable of supporting approximately 4.3 billion unique IP addresses. However, due to the increasing number of devices connected to the Internet, this number of addresses is not enough to meet today's needs. This is why IPv6 has been developed, which uses 128-bit addresses and supports a much larger number of IP addresses. IPv4 is a connectionless network protocol, meaning it does not establish a connection before sending data. Instead, it splits the data into packets and sends them across the network independently. Each packet contains the source IP address and the destination IP address, as well as other information needed to route the packet across the network. To ensure that packets are delivered correctly, IPv4 uses either the Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, or the User Datagram Protocol, UDP. TCP is a connection-oriented protocol that ensures packets are delivered in order and without errors. While UDP is a connectionless protocol that is faster but does not guarantee packet delivery. Each IP address is divided into two parts. The first part identifies the network to which the device is connected and the second part identifies the device on the network. The IP address can also be divided into four octets, in the case of IPv4, or into eight groups of four hexadecimal digits separated by colons, in the case of IPv6. Each octet or group of digits represents a numerical value from 0 to 255. In a LAN, the IP address of each device is usually assigned by the router or the DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, server. Each device on the network must have a unique IP address so that data packets can be sent and received correctly. 
It is important to note that although the IP address identifies the device on the network, it does not provide any information about its physical location or identity. In addition, IP addresses can be assigned dynamically, change periodically, or statically, remain fixed, depending on the network configuration. There are five classes of IP addresses in IPv4, which are categorized by their address range. The five classes are as follows. Class A. Class A IP addresses use the first 8 bits to identify the network and the remaining 24 bits to identify the device on the network. Class A addresses range from 1.0.0.0 to 126.0.0.0. Class B. Class B IP addresses use the first 16 bits to identify the network and the remaining 16 bits to identify the device on the network. Class B addresses range from 128.0.0.0 to 191.255.0.0. Class C Class C IP addresses use the first 24 bits to identify the network and the remaining 8 bits to identify the device on the network. Class C addresses range from 192.0.0.0 to 223.255.255.0. Class D Class D IP addresses are used for multicasting, which means sending packets to multiple devices on the network. Class D addresses range from 224.0.0.0 to 239.255.255.255. Class E. Class E IP addresses are reserved for future use and are not currently used on most networks. Class E addresses range from 240.0.0.0 to 255.255.255.255. It is important to note that while these five classes define the range of IP addresses, most modern LANs and WANs use private IP addresses and NAT, network address translation, to allow multiple devices to share a single public IP address. There are some IP addresses that are reserved for use on private networks and cannot be used on the Internet. These IP addresses are assigned by the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, IANA, and are divided into three blocks, 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255. This block is commonly used on private networks and can support up to 16 million hosts. 172.16.0.0 to 172.31.255.255. This block is commonly used on private networks and can support up to 1 million hosts. 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.255.255. This block is commonly used in private networks and can support up to 65,536 hosts. These IP addresses are commonly used in private networks such as in homes, offices, businesses, and other organizations and can be used to connect devices to a local network. Devices connecting to a private network use these IP addresses to communicate with each other. But to connect to the Internet, 
These IP addresses must be translated into unique public IP addresses by using NAT, Network Address Translation. It is important to note that these reserved IP addresses are not unique on the Internet and are used in many private networks around the world. Therefore, it is possible for two different private networks to use the same reserved IP addresses, but since they are used in isolated private networks, there are no conflicts. The notation used for IP addresses is called dotted decimal notation, which is simply the representation of each octet of an IP address in decimal form and separated by periods. In addition to dotted decimal notation, there is also binary notation, hexadecimal notation, and CIDR, classless interdomain routing, notation. Binary notation is used to represent IP addresses in bit form. Hexadecimal notation is used to represent IP addresses in hexadecimal number form. In this case, each octet is converted into two hexadecimal digits. CIDR notation is used to specify a network and its subnet mask. In this notation, a slash is placed after the IP address to indicate the subnet mask in bit number form. The net mask is a combination of bits used to divide an IP address into two parts, the network part and the host part. The net mask determines which part of an IP address belongs to the network and which part belongs to the host. In an IPv4 address, the net mask is a series of 32 bits that are represented as four decimal numbers separated by periods, such as 255.255.255.0. In this example, the first 24 bits, three octets, are reserved for network identification and the last eight bits, one octet, are used to identify the host. The net mask can also be represented using CIDR notation, which is a way of indicating the number of bits used for network identification. For example, the net mask 255.255.255.0 can be represented as 24 in CIDR notation, meaning that the first 24 bits are used to identify the network and the last 8 bits are used to identify the host. The net mask is important because it allows network devices to determine whether an IP address is on the same network or a different network. When a packet is sent across a network, the source device compares the destination's IP address to its own IP address and netmask to determine whether the destination is on the same network or a different network. If the destination is on a different network, the packet is sent to the router to be routed to the destination network. IPv6 Internet Protocol version 6 is the latest version of the Internet Protocol, which was designed to replace the previous version, IPv4. Unlike IPv4, which uses 32-bit addresses, IPv6 uses 128-bit addresses, allowing for a much larger address space and making it possible to connect a much larger number of devices to the Internet. One of the main advantages of IPv6 is that it allows for more efficient and simplified address assignment. This is because IPv6 uses hexadecimal notation which allows for a greater variety of addresses and greater ease of assignment. In addition, IPv6 also includes enhanced security features and increased efficiency in packet routing. Another advantage of IPv6 is that it includes built-in support for quality of service (COS), allowing data packets to be classified according to their importance and priority for delivery.
It also allows for the use of header extensions to add additional information to data packets, allowing for greater flexibility in transmitting information. However, despite its many advantages, IPv6 adoption has been slow due to a number of factors, including lack of backward compatibility with IPv4, lack of support in some operating systems and network devices, and the complexity of deployment and transition, as the number of devices connected to the internet continues to increase. IPv6 adoption becomes increasingly important to ensure that there are enough IP addresses for all devices and to ensure the continuity and security of the global internet. The MAC, Media Access Control, address is a unique 48-bit identifier assigned to each network interface card, NIC, on a network. The MAC address is unique to each NIC and cannot be changed. The MAC address is used to uniquely identify a device on a local area network, LAN, or any other network that uses the Ethernet protocol. When data is transmitted on an Ethernet network, it is sent across the network using the recipient's MAC address. The MAC address consists of 6 bytes, 48 bits and is represented as a series of 12 hexadecimal characters, which are separated by colons or dashes. For example, a MAC address might look like this, 001B441113AB7. The first three bytes identify the manufacturer of the device, while the last three bytes are unique to each NIC. It is important to note that the MAC address operates at the data link layer of the OSI, Open Systems Interconnection, model, while the IP address operates at the network layer. This means that the MAC address is only relevant on a local network, while the IP address is used to route packets across different networks. The first three bytes of a MAC address, known as the OUI, Organizationally Unique Identifier, identify the manufacturer of the network card. The IEEE, Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, assigns blocks of MAC addresses to network device manufacturers, who use those blocks to assign unique MAC addresses to their network cards. The list of manufacturers and their assigned MAC address blocks is available in the IEEE Public OUI database. This list is updated regularly as new MAC address blocks are assigned. By identifying the OUI of a MAC address, the manufacturer can be determined. This can be helpful when troubleshooting network issues. As you can easily identify the type of network device and the manufacturer of the network card just by looking at the first three bytes of the MAC address. It is important to note that manufacturers can change the default MAC address on the devices, so it is not always possible to determine the manufacturer of the network card from the MAC address. Additionally, some devices may have multiple network cards with different MAC addresses which can make it difficult to identify the manufacturer of the network card.